came to this program, it was pretty different from all the things I've ever done. I thought you guys were like very good dancers. Oh, yeah. I'm one of the worst. I don't dare talk to you guys because different leagues. <laughs> You cannot be just one kind of a dancer. The more that they're exposed to every single kind of dance, the more intelligent they are as a person. We all have different genres and we all learn different things, so we're on the same level of learning together. From young, I wanted to try out dance, but I didn't take classes. Then I was actually really interested in those upbeat music and you move to the groove and all. So yeah, this camp is a really good chance for me to be exposed to it. In school, we don't really have auditions, but now it's like audition with other people in front of professional dancers also. Most of them seem rather nervous, and I think they sort of started to ease up as the audition went by. So I thought they did well, I thought they showed that they were trying. If we don't make it through, I'll be really sad. Because I really wanted to be in phase two and continue this dancing experience. Because the three days has been so amazing and I really learned more about different dance skills and I think I've really developed more as a dancer. to be in phase two and I'm really glad I could be here and it's been a great journey. Uh, we're at Frontier Dance Land. We're actually preparing for the choreographic show in September. So that really wants us to push ourselves to ensure that we not only get the steps but we give the dynamics that she wants to see. I think with Adele's really fun. She's very precise. So it's easier to catch the steps. Each of you are at different levels. I think it's just finding a balance. Uh, ultimately, dance is not just about doing movements and steps, but really about bringing something from your soul and from your heart and giving that to the people who's watching you. I really had fun working with them and it's been frustrating at times, but at the same time, exhilarating. We are at Singapore Hokkien Hui Kwan Dance Theatre. This is our dance instructor. Her name is Miss Jenny. I'm Yannick Shergan. I'm the artistic director of Singapore Dance Theatre. I'm the basic taskmaster. I'm the one who drills them about all the intricacies, the details. Yeah, yeah, at the back. Yeah, it started to like loosen up. At that point of time, because there's more people, so I guess yeah, don't yeah, don't yeah, don't even know where. Yeah. The idea is to spark an interest. If somebody really has a desire, it's possible that you might light a flame. In truth, I as a teacher cannot teach them. They have to learn by the information that we offer them and then developing their own abilities. I want you to fall in love with Chinese dance and gain knowledge on the proper way to control yourself. It's like which muscle to use when you do back then and also you have to use correct expressive movement when you do certain movement. Coming to a professional company to train every week was something that I really look forward to. Let's say you come to class and then you walk past the studios and then you see one of the first artists. Oh my god, that's like the best thing. <laughs> After watching the concert last week, I really find a passion and an interest for Chinese dance because there's so much that I don't know about Chinese dance and I really want to fall in love with dance. Miss An An is really cool. 
She used to do Chinese dance. This is my first time meeting her, but she's a really awesome hip hop teacher. We are in old school studio. When you dance, you gotta dance with passion. She can lighten up the mood compared to other teachers that I've been taught under. She's the only person I've met who always speaks with a very high pitch voice. <laughs> <laughs> and yet can still teach at a very sweat. Yeah. I tend to group this group of people, which is you guys now, who have actually a common way of projection when you dance. And a slight variation I choose from you guys is actually the way you move, which I thought you guys can really learn a lot from each other. It's very natural when you hear, even in your mall, then you hear the music. Oh, yes. Don't lie. Yes. <laughs> yes. And mm. you. It's very it's part know. of you. Yeah, it's part of you already. Princess Basker, she's from the Basker Arts Academy. Yeah. She owns the place. <laughs> <laughs> she teaches traditional Indian dance. How do you explain that passion towards dance? I used to wonder like that. What happens to me is that dance has become me. Without dance, I cannot leave it. This is Miss Maya. She's uh, one of the choreographers for Era Dance Theatre. She was also my choreographer for my dance theatre development program last year. Okay, at first, I thought and I still think that she's very kind. Although she can be very strict, especially in dance. Your techniques and the way you feel. But then outside of dance, she's very nice, she's very caring and she's easy to talk to. You tend to push people to their limit. Mm -hmm. Like, you kind of show us that we have no limit. And yeah, it's kind of nice to feel as if oh, I can push myself even more further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of miss that intense dancing. For me, I like to dance hip hop also, but I prefer Malay dance. When I knew that you were Chinese, I was shocked and impressed because in my school, most of our Chinese dancers won't feel like dancing Malay dance because they say it's not my culture, it's not my passion. So I was like, feel disappointed. But when I see you joining us in Malay dance, I feel like, oh, he can dance. Yeah, I like traditional dancers. Mm. Yeah, so I tried out Indian dance. I find Indian dance um, very special and uh, meaningful. Because today some of the steps were quite hard and awkward for me. So yeah, I'll <laughs> persevere and work harder. You can do it. I felt that this class was more tough than other classes because we are going more in-depth into Vanatim, so we have to understand a lot of things. We have to remember and we have to put it into you, so it's tougher than other classes. More tiring also. What DTDP really has done for me is let me see what professionals do, the hard work and the process. Actually, I think both of, both of us want to become professional dancers. Yeah, both of us. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's very encouraging to know that there are all these young people who are actually very skilled, clearly really, really interested in what dance is and what dance does for them. Dance is my DNA. It runs in the blood. After this whole program, I don't know what to do without looking forward to DTTP after school. If you just perceive something at, like a movement as something beautiful, it's like dance. When it was ending, that's when I was like, I think I can do so the rest of my life.